Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. It is molded in 135 scale and it copies Grand MK1. So as you can guess it is based on recently released M3 series and it continues it. And here we have the kit without interior, so you don't see any interior kit sign on the top. So it means it's a, let's say, simpler version of this kit for those who don't want to assemble all interior for this tank. They would like to focus on the external detailing, let's say. So, this is a commercial sample, it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video and we are going to open it and check everything closer. First of all, here you can see comparison with my hand, this is a standard size box for Miniard. Here we have some information about the kit, nothing surprising I would say. And then on the other side we have quite surprising thing, 8 marking options included. That's That might sound a bit unusual, but you can notice that there are a few symbols will be needed for this marking, so it was possible because of this I guess. But still it is really cool, especially considering that some manufacturers are really lazy and they include on the two or three markings into such kits. This is a top opening box, so let's open it. And here is what we have inside. All frames are packed into the same plastic bag. And then on the bottom we have assembly manual, but we will check it a bit later. First we will start with plastic, of course. So all those sprues are quite heavy. And there are a lot of parts, even though this kit does not include any interior detailing. This is a sealed plastic bag, so just give me a second to cut through with scissors. And in the meantime, I would like to remind you that we have a special donate button on our website. So if you would like to help us to develop our website and YouTube channel, you can donate uh, by pressing on this button and choosing the amount you would like to send us. Some of you already did it and we really appreciate it. With your help, we are growing and with your help we are able to get something new in order to improve the quality of those videos and photos. As you can see now we are using the new video light which was bought with your help. So, what do we have here? Ouch! A lot of plastic spruce. Everything jumps out. So, we are going to start with this unusual envelope because usually it is squarish and now we have it in form of this different figure. So let's open it. I guess there is a bigger P fret or maybe not. Let's see. Yes, it is. So here we have various P parts for external detailing. Let's not forget that the interior is not included here, so all those parts will be placed on the tank. But still it's really cool that we get it out of the box. Not that many manufacturers offer such bonuses out of the box. So the only thing you should be ready is to work with tiny parts because they're really small, even though this is 135 scale. Next we go on with another sealed plastic bag. Here it is. Here we have decals and clear parts. Again, I need scissors. I just closed them. So just a moment. Okay. So, clear parts. Here we have various periscopes and visors. So, molding quality looks fine, but obviously masks are not included, so you have to cut them with your own hands. Be ready for this, because it might be a bit tedious. Maybe you can use liquid masks, it will be up to you. Um, I saw some modelers doing it, and they were quite successful in it, so it's your decision on how to mask all this stuff. Next we have masks, oh actually those are decals. <laughs> so decals, and he, those decals are printed in decograph. We have full number registry which is really cool. This will be handy in order to replicate some different markings if you would like to. And printing quality looks quite nice, so I really doubt that you will have any possible issues with this. Next we continue with first grey plastic sprue. And why I'm a bit confused because I'm seeing a lot of interesting stuff here. Okay, so let's zoom out. So this is quite wide frame. Uh, we have this thin plastic, I'm not sure how to call it, but we have it. 
And I mean, that's not an issue because parts are not damaged, but it is interesting to see it here. Um, all those parts are mainly external panels for the main hull because it will be built from all these tiny segments. Be ready to track the alignment of all these panels because you might get a really fine result if you are not paying attention to the necessary parts. And just because this plastic also um, can be bought in the interior kit version so we get internal detailing as well even though it won't be visible on this build. Next we continue with two plastic sprues which carry the same parts. Here you can see them. We are going to show only one because there is no need to show the same sprue several times in a row. So just give me a sec. Let zoom in and here you can see them. So again a lot of tiny parts even though this will be used for external detailing still you should be ready for working with such tiny pieces. I would advise to use sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be a nightmare to apply all this stuff into the right spot. Um, also it's really cool to see that tarpaulin is included just like as a plastic part so we won't have to think of replicating this thing with putty. That's really cool. And here you can see from another side that it is empty inside. Next we continue with another plastic frame. This one is dedicated to various machine guns. Also quite nice molding quality. But maybe I would rather replace machine gun barrels with metal parts. Next we have these panels for the boxes. Again really nice quality. Here you can see them from another side. Just when I thought that we have also figures here, those are actually not figures, those are various backpacks and also other items which can be placed on the tank. But still it is surprising that all this stuff is included out of the box, you won't have to buy it separately, you don't have to use everything at once and my, you may use it in the next projects if you would like to. Next we have two sprues for the drive sprockets, as you can see they should be built out of two parts. Okay. Another notable thing is this. So just give me a sec. I'll count all the frames. Okay, so we have first stack here. Let's zoom out a bit. So first stack and then we have the second stack. Um, as far as you can see there should be 12 frames of this type. All those parts will be used for the track assembly and that will be quite a funny procedure. So be ready for this. It's not, I would say, quick process. There is no assembly jig but you will be rewarded with a nice result. Here you can take a look at those parts closer. So let's zoom in. Really nice tracks. Obviously this is better than um, vinyl parts included here. So. I would rather prefer to work, to spend some time with plastic parts than to spend some time with vinyl. Next we go on with those parts, with ring and various parts for the hatches. They should be detailed inside as well. Another sprue with various external items and hatches. And again we have internal detailing as well. And obviously nobody stops you from opening those hatches if you would like to, but be careful because you will have emptiness inside. Okay, so here we have Pioneer tools. These look quite nice, but be careful with attachment points like this because it might be easy to break the thin parts and then you have to fix it somehow. Next we have the Manfred cover. Here it is. Some modellers might choose to replicate it with putty, it will be your choice, but still it is cool that we get it in form of this part. Maybe, just maybe, this part would look better if it was made out of rubber, who knows. But here we get it made out of plastic. Next we get two plastic sprues with jerry cans, another nice bonus and again you don't have to use it all at once. So you can use only a pair of jerry cans and leave some of them for your next project. Next we have sprue with rear wall and also exhaust. And if you flip it over here you can see that we have some detailing inside as well. Okay. 
and suspension. Suspension is also quite tricky here because I mean we all know how many bogies this tank had so we have six plastic frames with this here you can see them and we are going to check only one because those are absolutely identical parts so obviously you have to combine several elements all together basically all parts which you can see on this frame they will have to be glued together for one bogey as far as I can guess and it might be a bit tedious yes but it is something you can't avoid with M3 and M4 kits so there is no surprise that we get such parts division here as well next we get small plastic bag with this side teeth let's say for the tracks so basically you have to connect each track link with this side teeth from the side be ready for this again I'm reminding that there is no assembly jig for this purpose so you have to do everything with your own hands next we continue with parts which are specific for the grunt we have the updated side skirts we also have updated hull panels and note that side skirts are molded as one piece elements here you can see them from another side next we continue with wheels those are given on four frames as you can see three wheels on each frame quite nice parts I'll show them in a minute actually in a second don't be scared so here it is let's zoom in one piece parts and don't forget to paint the rubber element I know it will be a bit funny process, I always, let's say, enjoy it with M3, M4 kits, but that's again something you can't avoid with them. Next we get another plastic frames, I will show them on one by one because it's basically interconnection between frames. Here we have side hull panels and separate doors, so they can be positioned open if you would like to. Next we continue with turret parts and here we have some of the hull parts which are also molded separately. If you flip it over here inside you can see some of the detailing and the same applies to those side panels. That's really cool that all hatches are molded separately, you won't have to think on how to open this or that hatch, if you would like to open it, it is possible, that's really nice. Here we have last grey plastic sprue, this one again goes with hull parts, so here we have side panels for the lower half, next we continue with some panels for the bottom part and for the top section here as well, and if we flip it over, here you can see some of the external detailing because all these parts were shown from inside and here you can also notice the special teeth for the turret mechanism obviously it won't be visible on the finished model but still nice to have such attention on the standard plastic parts next we have assembly manual so this one is printed in form of typical mini art brochure so here it is let's close a bit our lenses. So what do we have here? Highly detailed model, workable tracks, all hatches can be post open or closed, PE included, clear included and 8 marking options. Let's go on. So first two marking options, this one comes from Egypt 1942, another one from Middle East March 1942. Next we continue with tank from Battle of El Alamein July 1942. Here we have North Africa 1942 and that's pretty much all. I guess we will have more in the end of this manual. Here we have parts map and paint chart as well. Assembly process starts with lower hull, so as you remember we do not have any interior parts, so that's why it will be empty inside. You might even use it as a small secret uh, piggy bank. Next we continue with various panels for the top section and again we have different options for the open or close hatches so pay attention whether you would prefer to open or close hatch you have to use the different ports here we install the side panels for the top hull section or for the superstructure next we continue with glazes plate here we install the side panels for the rear and next we install the engine deck cover so engine is not included just to remind you for the towing cable you have to use your own metal wire, there is nothing included into this kit, keep it in mind. Here we continue with top cover, again we have several positions for the hatches on the top cover. And note that 
another cool feature is that all those clamps and other stuff that are replicated with PE parts that are not pre-molded on the Pioneer tools. Yes, it might be a bit tedious, but you will get a more, I would say, convincing result. Here you can see assembly of the tracks, so you have to combine 79 tracks for each side. Here we install the side skirts and storage boxes. Next we continue with uh, special brackets for the fuel jars, actually jerry cans. Here we install again some Pioneer tools. And next we continue with this mantlet cover. So as you can see you have an option to assemble it with or without mantlet cover, it will be up to you. Next again we work on the PE parts, that will be quite a funny process to attach this large strip. Here you can see assembly of the turret, then installation of the turret on the hull. And next we have two more marking options, actually several more. So this one comes from Western Desert October 1942. Here we have tank from October November 1942. Another one comes from the same period. And the last marking option is from Palestine 1943. But frankly speaking, this might be an interesting deviation from the all useful, I mean, all typical marking options. And as you can see, we can have this back placement and tarp placement on the tank. It will be up to you if you would like to place all this stuff. But that's really cool. So as I said, this kit should be already available on official Modelimax website. If you would like to get it, just go to their web and order it straight away. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such tank kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye!